Hello wonderful people, this is Set to Achieve. Welcome to yet another video. Um, the title of today's video is They'll, they'll Triangulate You um, in Order to Strangulate You. Okay? And this is emphasizing and discussing narcissistic abuse. Okay? And how they operate. Okay? Please, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and like, subscribe, share, and leave your comments. Okay, your comments help other people um, and inspire others. Um, okay. So, narcissists, most or just about all narcissists have a strategy. Okay. It might be hidden in plain sight, but this strategy is always to triangulate okay so whenever you're dealing with with narcissists especially as a matter of fact in any kind of situation whether you're dealing with narcissistic co-workers narcissistic, narcissistic parents narcissistic um spouses partners there's always gonna be a level or degree of triangulation so what i mean by triangulation um, as it relates to narcissistic abuse is they would always pair you against others in order to butt heads. They do this, narcissistic parents do this with their, with, if you have narcissistic parents, they will always, or you might remember, maybe in the past, that they always paired you with your siblings. Oh, see how Sarah did this. See how John was able to do that. You know, how couldn't you do it like them? You know? If you're married to a narcissist and, you know, they would always compare it to the ex-wife or ex-husband. Oh, you know, you don't, you don't, you're not able to repair cars the way he does. Uh, you, you don't cook the way she does. Okay. Um, Jenny will make, make spaghetti, you know, better than this. You don't add in quite enough spice. They always, they always do this in order to kind of keep you on your toes. Okay, so you're, you're always feeling like you're not good enough, um, that like you're, you're not, um, like you're not adequate. Okay, they do this and they, they have, and this is a game strategy. Okay, all this gives them supply, you know, and, and a lot of times people say supply, it, it, it gives them a feeling of supply is, it supplies them with a certain kind of demonic energy, a demonic superiority, superiority, okay? They manipulate you, okay? I'm a survivor of narcissistic abuse um, basically all my life, okay? My mother is a narcissist, okay? So I have narcissistic parents, so, so that was something that was in my foundation, you know? And then I went on to marry a narcissist, okay? The Bible says that if the, the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? Okay, so so it, it, it's it, it, your, your life, especially when you, when you have a foundation of narcissistic parents, it becomes a battlefield because you are trained to accept abuse. Okay, because you've been gaslit all your life. So even when you encounter people that are abusive, there's red flags all over the place, you're going to ignore it. You're going to ignore all those red flags because you've been trained to do so, okay? So, they do this to first and foremost, I mentioned it, to gain supply. It makes them feel dominate, uh, dominant towards you, okay? Secondly, narcissists triangulate their victims in order to make them to lose support. Especially when you're in a narcissistic partnership or marriage. Okay? Think about it. When, let's say you're, you're married to a narcissist and, you know, like for example, with the narcissist I was with, he would triangulate me, he would smear me, even to my own family members.
you would smear me. You know, go behind my back and smear me. I remember there was a day I we had um our sore our sore was full, okay? And you know, normally we'd go to Home Depot um to uh to Home Depot to you know borrow the the like the router um machine you know to to, to rot the um the sewer. So but this particular day we went there and our they were not accepting debit cards they were accepting credit cards only you know and we didn't have any or um you know I think the one that we we used was Max Auto there was some kind of issue and we needed to. So if we, we didn't have ours, we had to get a family member to borrow theirs and then just give them the cash or something. So I called my brother um, that, that particular day to help me, um, you know, I called my brother in order to, um, you know, to, hey, you know, can you help us out or whatever? You know, we're kind of in a bind and, you know, we can't even use none of the water in the house because the sewer is full. So everything is kind of overflowing. And he was like, you're lucky I'm at home, you know, because, you know, I, I could have traveled. You're lucky that I hadn't traveled. And I was like, wait a minute. I didn't, I didn't fight with this, have a fight with this guy. I didn't have any, you know, kind of altercation or anything. Like, what, where's this coming from? I was kind of shocked. He still came and he still came through or whatever. But it was like, you know, I, I was confused. And I was even telling my husband. And, and this time, I didn't even know he was a narcissist. I didn't know that he was going by my back and saying things about me to my own brother, okay? And you can see that my brother was hesitant to help me in a, when I was in a bind. Even though this affected my whole family, including my children, who had to take a shower to go to school the next day, you know? So him going behind my back and smearing me and doing all this back and forth, button heads, triangulation, all of this stuff was in order to make me to lose favor with my own family. So when I lose favor with my own family, who do I have left? And who's the only one I have? I go back to him. If everybody else is against me, I'm going to feel in my heart that, well, at least I have him. Even though he's the one causing all the commotion. You know, so they are snakes. Narcissists are snakes. Okay, so the second reason why they triangulate you is to make you lose favor. All those smear campaigns, all of those things that they do, going behind your back, you know, smearing your name, is to make you lose favor. So that all you have at the end of the day is them. Thirdly, so you lose favor, you lose support, They gain supply by triangulating you and all of the things that they do. Then thirdly, they do this in order to cause you to have learned helplessness. Okay, that's a psychological term. You gain learned helplessness. You become hopeless. Learned helplessness is the term that basically... You don't, you stop trying. You lose hope. You know, it is when you have hope that you're, you're still trying to do this, you're still trying to do that, you're still trying to do things to, to help you to get out of the situation. But when you have learned helplessness, that is when you are completely drained. There's no more hope. Your self-esteem is to the floor. They've devalued, they've devalued you. They've smeared you. They've done all these things. Ultimately, to keep you captive. So if you're in a narcissistic family and you have learned helplessness, you're not going to seek to want to go get your apartment. You're not going to seek to to go aspire more, to get a better job, to get a better education, to, 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 to start a business, you know, to get out of that hole. You're not going to seek to escape because they've pulverized your self-esteem. They've dominated you. They've triangulated you. They've smeared you. My mother would spend hours on the phone telling, talking her friend, to her friends about me when I was a teenager. 
hateful towards her own child rather than build you up they tear you down if you have a narcissistic parent you don't have a, a parent you have an enemy okay so they are destructive they are um your narcissistic parent is not your parent okay if your narcissistic husband is not a husband you are married to yourself you, you are you are your own parent god is your parent you might have come from them you might have come through them but you came from god okay and that is the reason why i say that you need to go to the throne you need to go to christ cry out to christ to forgive you of of your sins to come into your life and and be the Lord of your life. Okay? You cannot serve two masters. It's either you're going to love one and hate the other. Dethrone that narcissist. Christ would dethrone that narcissist. Okay? The Holy Spirit. Ask, invite the Holy Spirit to come in. He will lead you into all the truth. What you need to do. That you can start building your faith. Okay, you can start tapping from the river of living water that is in your heart, that is in your spirit, through the person of the Holy Spirit. That is the only way to escape. And I will continue to say this. Jesus Christ, the Bible says, is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the source of your escape. He is the source of your rebuilding your self-esteem. So even if your foundation is shaky, you have a narcissistic parent. You have a narcissistic past, um, upbringing. You can still make it. You can still be all that you that God has has made you to be. But you need to go to Him, okay? I hope I've you've learned something from this video. I hope I've enlightened you in some way. Um, like I said, go ahead and like, share, subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be bringing out more content as the Spirit leads. And leave your comments, okay? Your comments encourage me and they encourage others as well to feel like they're not alone in this, okay? So thank you for watching. Remain blessed. Till next time.